Alex Martin came into the 2016 250 Lucas Oil Pro Motocross Championship as an eight-year veteran without a single overall race win. But after spending the last two years watching his younger brother Jeremy win multiple races and championships, he has consistently delivered podium finishes and defeats to his brother in the opening rounds this year. I felt like the underdog coming in, all the focus is on Cooper and Jeremy and Joey. When I was following him in the second moto at Hanktown, I think we were fourth and fifth at the time. I was sitting behind him, and then it got to a point where I was like, He's not going forward. I need to go around him. Alex Martin is on a mission right now to see Big Al make the move on Jeremy, who's a defending series champ. Alex got to be feeling good about this. When I passed him, mentally, I was in this whole new world of like, I'm faster at this point in time. Jeremy Martin is shaking his head. He said, brother, wait for me. Alex Martin drops the hammer and goes by. He's beat me a lot this year. I'd like to win, but if anyone's going to beat me on the weekend, I'd rather have it be him. Someone's got to make the Martin name proud. Alex and Jeremy's teammate, Cooper Webb, has taken the overall win at rounds five, six, and seven. But for round eight, the outdoor championship moves to Spring Creek Motocross Park, a track owned and operated by Alex and Jeremy's father, John. The hometown crowd and familiar terrain may be their final opportunity to stop Cooper from running away with the championship. Coming into Millville, everybody expects you to win when you grew up there and your parents own the place. Everybody from around the area is rooting for you. The pressure's there. And if they don't win, it's devastating. Strung us together, you had your couple moments. Yeah. I could see you're pushing. I started with Alex roughly eight or nine weeks before the first outdoor. I like to think that him working with me is what's turned his career around, got him up to that next level he always wanted to be at. Although Alex has been in the 250 class for eight years, he had never been on a factory-sponsored team and hoped his one-year contract with Star Yamaha in 2016, along with the new approach to his preparation by working with the team's trainer, Gareth Swanepoel, were the missing pieces he had been lacking. However, if he fails to deliver results, 2016 will likely be his final opportunity, as unsuccessful veteran riders are seldom given contracts over young, incoming talent. Coming into the season, I knew that with having a factory bike for the first time and having a little bit more well-rounded program, I felt like coming in, I was gonna be a threat, but you know, you can't tell the media or anything like that. They're not gonna believe you until you do it. Face full of roots from Nelson. Now Does he have the pass? Alex Martin's gonna take him wide, Nelson off the track. It appears that Alex Martin has won his first ever nice. Lucas Oil Pro Motocross overall. Martin would leave round two with his first ever championship points lead. And although he would lose it at round three, he appeared to be the most determined rider on the track. Alex Martin has just been on a rail oh. today and he runs the rail around the outside and takes second. He looks like a man possessed. He's the fastest man on the track, just flying right now. Going into round four, Alex was not far off the championship points lead, but in the second moto, it appeared further improvement would be necessary to contend for the outdoor championship as he was unable to make a pass from second into the lead for the third time in four rounds. Alex Martin's trying to make the move on him. Too little, too late. Joey Savacci wins at high point. Alex Martin's so bummed back there. That's three times this year that he challenged Savacci for the second moto win down to the wire and just came up short. Alex would fail to clinch a moto win again at round six. And although still a contender for the title, was running out of time going into the race at his home track. Swanepoel encouraged Alex to join his teammates Cooper Webb, Aaron Plessinger, and Mitchell Harrison for training in South Carolina. But Martin has chosen to train with his brother on their family property in Millville, Minnesota. Alex Martin is not here because home is home. Mom, dad, fiance, comfort. He wasn't willing to sacrifice that to be out here with us. It was hard because, you know, obviously Swanee has helped me tremendously this year. But at the same time, I didn't want to be down in South Carolina sweating all summer in that environment. We had invested with Shane Schaefer to come here and build us a track, and I knew I was going to be able to ride with my brother. But that was something I looked forward to. We were able to push each other to another level when we're together. Come on, come on, come on! 
And the main focus was really on my brother growing up. I would get his old bike. <laughs> and I remember one time, my dad was like, hey, Alex, go show Jeremy how to hit this corner on his bike. He came down the hill and he hit the corner and he started laughing. He was like, man, this is the biggest piece of bike I've ever rode. Like he couldn't stop laughing. I just laughed too, cause I didn't know any better. I never rode anything else. Growing up, it's a lot different than the way it is now. I was the older brother, the bully, picking on him a little bit, beating him up. Jeremy was a little pudge ball, eating candy and chips. Anything that was bad, he was sticking in his mouth. I mean, I have really no rebuttal. I go and get ice cream sandwiches and bags of potato chips. I didn't want my parents to find out. So I would go eat them in the first tunnel and then I would bury the wrappers in the ground and then I'd just run away. <laughs> There's definitely more balance to Alex's life. He's had a fiance. He likes fishing. Jeremy's done the same things, but his focus has been championships and winning and that's his number one. I'm kind of seeing more of that from Alex now too, the determination. After eight years of being in the sport as a professional, you tend to become complacent and hit a plateau. That's my biggest obstacle right now, is that mentally for so long, I was a fifth to 10th place guy. I'm finding that I have to change my mindset to where I accept nothing but winning. When he did win the championship in the outdoors, to me it was more just like, if he can do it, you know, I can do it. For me, it just made it more realistic and possible. Growing up, I could see the mistakes Alex was making, not taking it very serious, and I really saw the amount of money my dad was putting into it. And I was like, I really gotta do this and work hard to be successful so hopefully one day I can repay him. For me personally, what makes me happy is making people that I care about happy. It is rare to find two brothers who can look at their rival and find inspiration instead of animosity. Alex and Jeremy Martin have been pushing each other's levels of performance throughout their lives and choose each other as training partners to this day. For Alex, round eight is the next stop on his mission to revive his career. And with five second place moto finishes, he hopes the hometown crowd is the fuel he needs to get his first moto win of the season. I know that I have the speed to be up on the podium. I mean, this is my eighth year now. There's literally no more excuses. Like you have the program, you have the bike, time to get the job done. You know, the Martin brothers do not want to get beat on their home soil. Maybe someone can stop Webb. He's got three in a row. He won here last year. Someone's got to put the binders on this freight train, otherwise it might get out of control.